You're watching the Ship on Day One Field Guide. I'm Hans, let's get ship done. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in scaling out your continuous delivery system. Maybe you've gotten started with a continuous delivery framework and it works on some side projects or one of the projects on your team. But maybe it's not running at the scale that you want across all of your team's projects or multiple projects within your org. Well, as software developers, you and I know that a good continuous delivery system can help remove manual steps that we would otherwise have to make when we're deploying out our software. So, in this video, we'll look at a three-step process to effectively scale your continuous delivery system. Step one, take the framework that you want to use and set it up so that it can deploy through to the step immediately before production. If it can deploy all the way to production, that's amazing, and then you have an end-to-end -end continuous deployment pipeline. However, for scaling out your continuous delivery, you get significant wins if it rolls out to QA and even more wins if it rolls out to staging. So make sure that when you have a build that's working on dev and you merge that pull request into your master or mainline branch, that can automatically get built, deployed to a QA environment, have any automation tests running on that QA environment, and then deploy it out to staging. Then you can manually promote it to production. This is an effective continuous delivery system running at scale. The second thing that you'll want to do is document the continuous delivery system that you have. Specific to your framework, but also specific to your code, talk about how the configuration that you, are, that you have in one of your projects could be abstracted and applied to other projects that your team owns. And make it specific enough to your team that any developer on your team could be able to effectively write their own configuration. This brings us to step three, the final step in scaling out your continuous delivery network. Make sure that each one of your developers has a chance in order to integrate the continuous delivery system into one of the projects that they work on. This is important because it allows cross-pollination of your chosen framework across your stack. And this makes sure that each developer has hands-on experience using the continuous delivery technology that you've chosen. Once you've done these three steps, you will find that you have a continuous delivery network that's running effectively at scale. In future videos, we'll look at measuring this as well as optimizing the technology for you and your code. You can find those videos and so many more at shipondayone.com. I'll see you there. Thank you.